spa fans. Um, I thought I would check in and um, do a little vlog. Um, I was thinking about this today. I thought I might um, kind of touch on um, like what what breeds are best for like certain families. Um, just because it kind of came up today. Um, when, you know, when you're looking for a dog, like one of the things that you, you know, need to think about, not just like, you know, is this dog going to get along well with my kids or my family or, you know, um, what kind of lifestyle we live and that kind of thing, but like your budget, you know, like if you have a lab and, you know, you don't mind you know, dog hair and shedding and that kind of thing around the house. You know, a lot of people can get away with, um, you know, bathing and taking care of their short haired labs or, you know, Dalmatians or Great Danes or whatever like that um, at home. Um, I do bathe a lot of short haired dogs because I can help with shedding and having a full groom with the nails cleaning or ears cleaning and nails trimming. Um, drop my comb. Um, you know, and then I can help with um, the shedding because, you know, labs do still blow their coat and they're gonna shed and they're gonna have clumps of hair coming out and if you don't brush them and maintain them. Um, it's not the end of the world like, say, you know, a Australian Shepherd or like a Burmese Mountain Dog or some of the longer haired double coated ducks. Um, but when you start getting into those types of breeds, you know, the longer hair and the double coat and that kind of thing, um, you know, they do need proper grooming. They do need that undercoat brushed out. They do need, um, to have, you know, some breeds have, you know, hair that grows on their feet um, that needs to be clipped off and um, have their sanitary areas cleaned up and such. So, you know, that's something that you should keep in mind when you're shopping for a new dog in the family. Um, your average cost for grooming, um, obviously it's going to depend on the type of dog that you have and the type of care that you're going to be able to provide at home. Um, but let's just like give some examples, you know, like if you have a Husky and um, you're not really into doing a whole lot of brushing at home and um, you aren't able to bathe them at home and dry them properly, you are probably gonna wanna get them groomed like every eight to 12 weeks. And your average Husky, depending on where you go, is gonna cost anywhere from like, you know, 50 to $70. Um, it's also gonna depend on how much undercoat, you know, needs to be brushed out. So, um, you know, and that's probably the same with like an Australian Shepherd or Border Collie or, you know, those types of breeds. Um, when you get into the giant breed dogs, obviously your cost is going to go up because it takes longer. There's a lot more hair to brush out, um, that kind of thing. Um, but let's talk about haircut dogs. Um, you know, a lot of the haircut dogs... They don't shed like Shih Tzus and Poodles and Havanese and um, Schnauzers and those types of dogs. Yes, you don't have to mess with hair all over your house and that kind of thing, but their hair grows. So you're going to need to have their hair cut. Um, and I am a Shih Tzu owner, so... Um, you know, obviously I can do that myself. It doesn't cost me anything. It's just my time. But, um, you know, your average haircut dog, depending on where you go, again, um, is anywhere from, 
$30, which would be super cheap, <laughs> um, you know, up to 60 on the smaller breed dogs. So, um, and I'm not saying it doesn't go over 60. Some mobile companies are gonna charge like 80 bucks to do a haircut on a little dog. Um, so you just have to keep in mind those types of costs. Um, that type of grooming um, is something that needs to be done like every, like once a month or every six weeks or so. Um, sometimes you can get away with eight weeks if you take them pretty short and you're, you know, pretty diligent about taking care of your dog at home. So when we get into the larger breeds, um, I know doodles are really popular right now. Um, a doodle would be a breed of dog that is bred with a poodle. Um, a lot of people like that because they're a larger dog. They're more of a sporty dog. Um, if you're uh, breeding with like a golden retriever or a lab and um, their shedding is very minimal. Um, but, you know, they're a lot of work. Um, a lot of doodle owners get into these doodles and they're like, oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting to have to brush my dog every day or have to have him groomed once a month. Um, I have a lot of doodle owners that are like that. And then they about fall over when I tell them how much it costs to have their dog groomed. So your average standard poodle, which would be the larger of the poodle breeds, um, you're looking anywhere from 85 to well over $100 to have a full groom um, haircut and that type of thing. So when you're looking at doodles, um, you know, there's so many different hair coats when you get into the doodle um, breed because first of all, um, it kind of depends on what you breed with. So for instance, if you're breeding with a lab, a labradoodle, um, it could carry on more of the lab coat. And so you're going to um, have shorter hair and it's not gonna be as curly um, and may not require as much grooming. The labradoodles that take on more of the poodle hair, which is a lot of um, the breeding nowadays because people want a labradoodle that doesn't shed. And so they're gonna want um, breeding that takes on more of the poodle um, aspect. So if you get into that situation, you've got curly hair that has a uh, thicker um, coat because of the lab hair and um, it grows. So, you know, you're looking upwards of, I know I've got some doodles that are pretty small and, you know, around like 30 or 40 pounds that I only charge like $65 for a full haircut. Um, but then you get into the larger doodles. Like I have a client who has a Bernadoodle, which is, I know I've showed him on my vlog before. Um, it's a Bernice Mountain Dog um, Poodle Mix. And she likes to keep him very long and she takes very, very good care of him. She bathes him once a week, brushes him out, brings him in here once a month for um, a bath blow dry um, brush out. So he was actually in this morning. Um, but you know, for a full haircut on a bigger dog like that, you're looking um, around 90 to $100. Um, I know that people really have um, a hard time with the price of grooming. And why does my dog's haircut cost more than my haircut? Um, there's a lot of different factors, um, especially when you get into the um, brush out portion of it, um, like this little sweetie pie. Um, they're trying to save money, so they've been grooming her at home, and she's very matted. Um, 
it's very rare that you will go into your hairdresser and she will have to spend 30 or 40 minutes brushing your hair just to bathe you. Wash your hair. <laughs> um, your hairdresser also doesn't have to scrub your hind end and get poop off of you. Um, we do deal with a lot of poo and pee and um, bad breath and um, it's not all fun and games, fluffy puppy playtime. So, um, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into pricing, grooming, and why it costs so much. And um, yes, I can get some dogs groomed in under an hour. Um, and it's still going to cost $50. But it's not just my time. Um, it's my, my product and my space that I use, my tools. Um, you know, I have to have my tools sharpened. I have to have, make sure that everything stays, um, sanitary. You know, there's a lot that goes into, um, grooming. It's not cut and dry, you know? So anyways, um... I hope that I was able to kind of educate you guys a little bit on uh, how to prepare your pocketbook for picking a dog and what um, grooming costs and needs are going to be. Now keep in mind that um, every shop is different. Um, every shop offers different things. You might run into a shop that only charges $25 for a full haircut on a little Shih Tzu, but they don't include ears and nails and, you know, brush out charges. So, like in my case, I include ear cleaning and nail trimming with my full grooms. And it's included into the price. So my prices are going to be a little bit higher. Now, if you were to have, you know, this $25 haircut and then turn around and say, well, I need my dog's nails clipped. Well, there's an extra $10. Um, I need my dog's anal glands done. A lot of times with with me, if you're having a full groom, I'll include an extra service like anal glands. Um, <clears throat> but there's, you know, eight to ten dollars right there. So you're at forty-five bucks if you want to have um, the nails and your anal glands done um, in a groom. So keep that in mind as well at what people offer in their prices, what they include. Um, I uh, just had that discussion with a couple people, um, you know, saying that she's she takes her Australian Shepherd in and it's only $15 for a bath and a blow dry. Well, it doesn't include a brush out. It doesn't include undercoat. It doesn't include nails. It doesn't include ears. And, you know, once you start adding all of that stuff on, not to mention that this specific place um, sticks your dog in a cage dryer and your dog isn't blown dry by hand and so a lot of that undercoat just sits there um, so you know there's a lot that goes into 